Hello, in this video we will be going over how to make a glider in Unreal Engine. There will be a link in the description for all the assets in this video. So first we are going to go into our characters animations and we are just going to select an animation and go into its skeleton. And then we are going to click preview animation and look for the glider animation. And with this selected I am just going to pause it and go to its spine 03 and right click and add socket and I'm going to call this glider socket and this will be where the glider will be. So that we can see the glider we're going to right click on the socket and click add preview asset and select the glider mesh and then you want to rotate it and adjust it so that it fits in the hand of the character. So I will just do that. My mouse is acting good weird, sorry about that. And you just want to make sure that it goes into the hand of the character so that it looks roughly correct. So this will be when it, be where it is when we spawn it. So I'm just going to put it there and save that. And once we've got that, we can just close it and then go into our third person character's animation blueprint. And we want him to enter the gliding state when he's jumping. So from his jump loop, I'm going to drag in the gliding animation. And I'll just call this glide. Uh, and we'll just drag an arrow there and drag an arrow back. And to enter the state, we're going to be able to be in the gliding state. So I'm going to create a new variable and call it is gliding. And I'll just plug this in. And when we are gliding, it will do that animation. And we'll just get is gliding, not boolean. So when we're not gliding, we go back to our normal falling state. So we just compile to save that. And then we need to set it up in the third person character. So if we go to the third person character and go into his viewport add component, we're going to look for static mesh and we're going to select glider. And we just need to, whoops, attach this to the mesh. And we want to attach it to the socket that we created. So glider socket. So just select that socket and then we can just click those arrows on the right and it will be in the correct position. And in the details, I'm just going to make it visible and uncheck it so by default we can't see it. And I'm also going to go to the camera boom and set the target arm length to 700 as the glider is quite big and to see it, it's just better if the camera's far away. So once we've got that, if we go to the event graph, I'm going to make it, when we press the Q key, it's going to get our glider and then we'll be able to do some gliding. So off this, I'm going to do a branch and check that we're falling because we should be falling because we want to use the glider. So it's falling and if this is true, then we're going to allow our player to use the glider. So I'll just drag in the static mesh and we will set its visibility so we can see it. So we look for set visibility and we'll just tick that box and plug it in. Then what we want to do is get the mesh and we want to get his anim instance. From here, we can create a reference to his animation blueprint. So if we go to cast to third person animation blueprint, and just plug that in. And as the third person character's animation blueprint, we can select him to is gliding and he'll do his is gliding animation. So now we need to set up so that he moves as if he's gliding. So to do this we'll get the character movement and we're going to get his velocity and we're also going to set the velocity and we're just going to right click and split the structure of this and right click and split the structure of that and we'll just plug in the x and y so that when he starts to glide, his velocity on the Z will be zero, so he won't be moving down. And then we're going to set his gravity scale. And I'm just going to set it to 0 0.05. And the bigger this is, the faster he'll fall. And then I'm going to set his air control. And I'll set it to 0 0.7. The higher this is, the more control he'll have when he's in the air, when he's in gliding mode. And that should be everything for gliding. So I'm just going to move this up a bit. And then I'm just going to copy this all and do the opposite when we release the Q key so that we stop gliding. So I'm just going to plug that in there. And this time we'll uncheck the set visibility. Unchecked is gliding. And we don't need to change his velocity anymore, so I'll just delete that. 
and I'll set his gravity scale back to his normal 1 and air control back to 0 0.2, that's the default value. And I'm also going to grab a bent landed because when we land on the ground we also want to make sure that we're not gliding, gliding so I'll just plug a bent landed into the set visibility. And now everything should work so you click compile and close and click play. When you move and press Q he'll start to glide and when you let go he'll stop and you press Q again he'll glide. And that's how to set up a uh, quick glide in on our engine. If you enjoyed, uh, like and subscribe. And if you have any video ideas, uh, leave them in the comments. I'll try and start to do a bit more video ideas from now. Anyway, bye.